Now let's not forget about curly hair. When we texturize curly hair, it has a lot of properties of its own that we need to be aware of. A lot of techniques we can't do because the last thing I want to do is frizz naturally curly hair. So think about the integrity of the hair. Here's a great one for curly hair. Most people with natural curly hair don't want their hair cut short on top. They like to keep this length long because it adds weight. Yet at the same time, they like a little sense of softness up on the top. This is a technique called weave and blunt. Once again, let's start in the crown area where she possibly might want some lift. In the crown area, we simply take a section. Taking this section, all I'm going to do is take my guiding blade. Remember, the thumb blade is on the top and the guiding blade is on the underneath. I come through, you control how much you want to take out. So if I want to take a small amount and it's fine hair that's naturally curly, do a very fine type of weave. If I have thick, naturally curly hair, let's do a big, nice, chunky type of weave. When you're here, this takes courage. Remember, where your shear is, is where the length is going to be. So now simply close, because it's blunt texture, that will spring back and add support to what is left long. Great technique when you want to go in and get some lift at the base. Remember now, you control how much you take out. Let's see it one more time. Here, comb through. Now I placed one there. Look at the length I have. So let's say I even want to come out further on the length. So we're here, weave. Let's do a little fine weave here and close. And comb through. And as I said, natural curl has a lot of properties on its own. Be aware of the fabric you're using and the type of texture technique you're going to do to complement the fabric. Great technique to maintain lift, create a short degree of softness inside to support the length that you have. Weave and blunt. Try it. You're going to like it.